We are in the beginning of a mass extinction, and all you can talk about is money and fairy tales of eternal economic growth. How dare you? You are failing us. But the young people are starting to understand your betrayal. The eyes of all future generations are upon you. And if you choose to fail us, I say we will never forgive you. Climate change is damaging the planet. If the world's industrialised nations don't act now to limit global warming and decrease their reliance on fossil fuels, there will be catastrophic and irreversible environmental damage, with an increase in extreme weather, flooding, droughts and heat waves, devastation to ecosystems in the Amazon rainforest and polar regions, and rising sea levels. Despite the rhetoric of saving the planet for the next generation, those who are least responsible for climate change, today's children, are the ones who will suffer its most significant consequences. Spurred on by this injustice, young people are angry. They feel betrayed by the older generation who, they argue, has acted irresponsibly and irrevocably damaged the planet. They have channeled this anger into action, organising school strikes, starting campaigns to limit plastic waste, lobbying governments and taking part in civil disobedience. Rather than waiting passively for adults to solve the problem, they have become activists and campaigners in their own right. They have taken their place as political leaders, holding the older generation to account in order to safeguard the earth for their own and future generations. For this generation, tackling environmental damage is not simply about stopping the rise of greenhouse gases or ending a reliance on fossil fuels. It is also a matter of human rights and the need to ensure social justice. Today's activists therefore talk not only of the need to combat climate change, but also about the need to ensure climate justice. Ensuring climate justice means reducing structural inequalities between and within countries and creating a fairer international world order where environmental risks are more evenly spread so that the older generations of richer countries do not take all the benefits while the younger and poorer struggle with the damage. Recent years have shown how powerful children and young people's voices can be. Whether they can translate this visibility and passion into change is still up for debate. What is undeniable, however, is how they have shaped and dominated the agenda, no longer merely as symbols of the future, but as convincing activists and committed leaders. This free course, Climate Justice for the Next Generation, will examine why climate change is a social problem as well as an environmental one. It will look at how children have fought back to protect their futures and discuss why climate justice is so important. Get more from the Open University. Check out the links on screen now.